Hello everybody, you are highly welcome to my channel. My name is Anastasia Fishness. I am a wife, a mother of three, I'm from Ghana, living in a beautiful island of Cyprus. I am a guide to wellness and emotional well-being. If you want to learn more about practical and effective way to find peace and balance in life, or if you just want to expand your knowledge, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of my future videos ever again. On my channel, you will find a desk of videos, tutorials. I talk about love, relationship. I will be sharing so beautiful, interesting stories, true stories, product reviews, a way to change your mood, motivational speaks, healthy eating, and so many more. I will be uploading at least two to three times a week. Maybe Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So if any of this is interested you, then I believe you are at the right place. I take advantage of social media. Social media is there for us. We need to make a good use of social media. So I take, about, I take advantage of social media to share my knowledge and my opinion, my ideas with everybody as well to go out to the world to spread my story to the world. I believe and I trust we are going to enjoy every single video upload on this channel. I, I love you so, so much. You are so important to me because we are all going to share our, our ideas, opinions and our thoughts. Yes, you heard me. So kindly share this video and God will richly bless spread my story to the world. I believe and I trust we are going to enjoy every single video upload on this channel. I, ha I love you so, so much. You are so important to me because we are all going to share our, our ideas, opinions and our thoughts. Yes, you heard me. So kindly share this video and God will richly bless you. If you are a returning subscriber, I highly appreciate your time, your love and your support. And of course, thanks for coming back once and again. And if you are new, please, I urge you, be patient, watch the video up to the end. If you like it, why not give it a thumb up, it's free. And don't forget, to subscribe and put your notification bell on so the next time you will be the first to receive my new uploads okay all right as you had everything now and you are interested why not grab your seat let's talk okay so today i name my topic the importance of exercising patience the importance of exercising patience in our everyday life. You know, sometimes we need to exercise patience in everyday life. For example, last week I went to the city. Um, I decided to uh, to do my spare key, my car key. Okay. Um, so when I went, I was trying my best to find a parking. So when I reached the shop, I reached where the key cutter is and uh, unfortunately there were, there were a lot of cars so uh, it's not easy there's no enough place to park the car but the interesting thing is about you know the reason why i named this topic the importance of exercising patience in our everyday life is this when i went there there was no parking but there is a parking there was a parking in the front of the shop so uh, no option i have to park in the in the front of the shop but as soon so, uh, as soon that i reached the, the front of the shop the owner of the shop the, the key cutter the man came out and then because he saw me parking the car he came out with a strong voice no 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 park here no park here go from here go from here go 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 i was so calm in the car so i was asking him okay you don't want me to park the car here where do you want me to park the car 
He said, I don't care, I don't care, just go from here, go from here. He's not talking. This is the front, this is for my customers, this is my customer, go from here. You know, um, unfortunately, this man he didn't think faster that he he wrote on the board that the parking is only for his customers. So for me being trying to park in the in the front of the shop, probably I will be the customer or I'm coming to the shop. But he didn't think fast. So he was trying to send me away in a, uh, in a rude way. But uh, I, I try, I am always patient with the wrong people, you know. I always try exercise patience. I love to exercise in patience a lot because my name is patience. So he was shouting, he, shout, he was really shouting very bad to me. But I didn't pay attention to him. I was just trying. So I was telling him, tell me where should I park the car. He will not listen to me. So I tried my best. So he didn't let me park the car in the front of the shop. So I moved forward and I found a place to park the car. So when I came down, I just, I walked in and I entered this shop, his shop. And then I gave him, you know, I gave him the key and I said, can I have another spare key? And then he said, oh, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm a thousand times sorry. You know, I like black people so much. Uh, I have, I'm... I donate for black people in Africa. I support the African children, the hungry children in Africa. I support them. You know, I am one of the... He started telling me so many stories. And I, uh, you know, it, the way he did, the way he shouted to me, for me, telling me all those things, is just, I just listen to it as a camouflage. So, you know, with calm voice, the only thing I told him is that, why are you telling me all this? He said, yes, because I sympathize black people so much, especially the uh, poor children in Africa. I do send money, I help them, I donate. And I said, okay, what do that have to do with me? If you love or you sympathize poor or black people, I am black, I'm not red. I am black. You saw me in the car. I came to park in the front of your shop. You try to send me away. You shouting to me like an animal to go from your sh from the front of the shop or not to park in the shop. This didn't. There's no. Um, I don't know how to put it, but it does. It didn't make sense telling me that I like or I love black people because this is racist. It's not. Oh, so the whole point was like. He he feels shame when he did that and while i was so calm with him he was so surprised that i was coming to his shop but he was shouting to me and i couldn't speak i couldn't say anything or defend myself so then i told him that look uh, unfortunately this is very bad for you because my husband does my husband is your client for many years as he told me that he has been coming here when since when he was young. And he's the one who sent me here because I know many places to go, but he said I should come to you. And look at what you did to me. What you did to me now can cost you a lot because I can tell my husband and all of his friends. And then I don't know what else will come out of that, you know, because it's really bad the way you treated me. And then he started pleading me, I should not tell my husband. I should not talk, tell nobody this is shameful for him. He started talking and talking and talking and talking. So the only thing I told him is that try exercising patience in everyday life because you have got shop, you work with people. So you don't know who you will shout to the next time it will be something else for you. Even though it doesn't matter that I'm a stranger, I'm not your regular customer. The moment I came, I am trying to park in the front of the shop. You should, he should know that I am coming to the shop or I am trying to buy something from him. But he didn't think fast. Never mind. But the whole thing was what? What was the whole point? The whole point was he, he didn't exercise patience. He doesn't have patience. He was so rude. I, I can't say that because of my, because I'm black, but I can say that he is not a polite, he's not a respectful person, you know. 
you respect yourself, people respect you. And also, you treat everybody. Even, even you know the person, you don't know the person. The strangers are most important people that we need to we need to treat them very good because you never know when you, you will find your angel, you know, because everybody has their angels. So you don't know when and angels doesn't angels doesn't come in form of physical dress or whatever it is. Angels comes in different way of human beings. So my little advice for us is that we should we should treat we should know how to to treat strangers and also uh, try our best to exercise patience every single day. We may not lose nothing, nothing you will lose, but you will gain a lot, a lot of benefit of exercising patience in everyday life. So family, that is the, my story for you today. It will bless you. I love you, but God loves you more than I do. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Watching Patience TV, BTV, Patience, Move Mountains.